Hello from Hanover. We're back at CBIT 2010 on the Biostar stand. I'm here with Eric Tunk. We're talking about motherboards. Eric, yep. well-known fact that AMD today has launched well, this chipset here, 890GX. Right. You guys have got a board ready. Mm -hmm. Can you talk us through it? Because it looks a little bit different to what we've seen so far. Yeah. Uh, the board, uh, as you know, already supports 6 GHz uh, SATA 3. And one thing special about the board is we have this MCE chip on board. So you can connect to through this IR connector. You can use a remote control produced by BioStar, which is also certified by Windows 7. All right, so this become a total solution of home theater PC. Right. Will all your initial boards of 890GX be micro ATX sized? I can right. see that's clearly a quite a small board. Mm -hmm. okay. It is. So this is a logical replacement for the 790GX and 785G. Mm -hmm. But AMD is also going to launch separate 8 series. 890FX and 880G. Right. Right. I believe you've got two boards here. Yes. Should we right. have a look? Sure. Starting here with the 880G, I think they're going to launch it April 26th. Right. So how would you describe this? Is this a lower cost 890GX? Correct, correct. We believe this board has a great potential in terms of volume-wise. Okay. Uh, it's full integrated. you got everything on board. So another great solution for home theater PC. And I suppose the one that enthusiasts look after, because it supports six core Thuban, the upcoming processor, right. the Enthusiast Class 890 FX. Mm -hmm. And you've got a board here. So again, how is this different to what you've got already, or had already, 790 FX? And which kind of people do you expect this to appeal to? This is a real high-end board. And uh, we saw Bridge 850, mm -hmm. so all the support we already have, SATA 3, 6 GHz support, etc and also support the latest upcoming 6-core processor. Yeah, the yeah. I right. don't see a USB 3 controller, unless I'm missing something. That's uh, more than so obvious. Let's start at 3. Yes. And for USB 3.0, we are going to produce one on board and as well as the um, add-on car solution. Right. And will you have different versions of this particular board, or just one? Just A9? one on A90GX, uh, I mean FX. OK. And what's happening on the Intel front? Have you got new boards coming out for them? Uh, yes, we have the latest H55 okay. chipset based motherboards. Well, let's take a look. OK, we've just moved over to the Intel part. We've got H55 here. So, Eric, let's talk about this. Yes, um, H55 boards, we have actually four SKUs, four different SKUs, and this is the highest one. Uh, T-series solution with uh, extra overclocking utilities um, as well as the bio remote we just mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. right, so it's a uh, top of the line HGPDI yeah. board. So I still see that you're calling some boards T-Power, hence the overclocking, you've just mentioned that to me. Right. How important a focus is that for Biostar because that's clearly enthusiast class. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, overclocking is still one of our main focus this year. Uh, we try to enhance the, since all the graphics already built in on CPUs, so we have the utility to enhance the GPU performance, mm -hmm. not only the CPU. And which is your favorite board out of the ones we've seen today? I would say A90GX. Why? It's because it's new. Well, it's new. Uh, it's uh, great performance and cost the, the best solution. Okay. Eric from Biostar likes the 890GX. Eric's going to have to send us one in for review and we'll pass our own judgment. Until then, head back for more from CBIT 2010.